Holly wins. Good luck, Slices. Yeah, you can offer trades. Yeah. You sure can. Yeah, you can offer up a trade. If somebody wants to trade you, they'll trade you. We have to verify it, though. There's ways to verify the trade that it's you.
Okay, Cam. They can send me an email. Send me an email. I know you emailed me, Cam, the other night. I got your information. Uh-oh, Eric, you got the angels, dude. Come on. I don't think Eric would train for the Angels. He's my neighbor. I know he loves getting big teams, so I don't think he would trade them. Does anybody want to trade? Astros? got the Blue Jays up in this mug. Paul wins. Maybe Paul can win tonight. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, I mean, he's a Cubs fan, but I know he's always chasing big hits. His dream is to hit some sort of a Otani auto or Trout. <laughs> well, I guess that's all of our dreams. <laughs> Evan White is numbered to 150. There's the Tatis. Brendan McKay, didn't he just play? Sellout bonus night tonight. Someone's winning a Sandlot photo. Someone's winning a dope little Roquan Smith mini helmet. Someone's winning some TSB burst packs tonight. 
with dope hits in them. Somebody is winning some tops packs. More spots you buy, more chances you have. Pretty simple. Andrew, there's a wander, and I wonder, wonder, five bucks. Well, maybe not five bucks anymore. Wander, Franco. I can't wait to see what happens with that guy, dude. I hope he does well. It'd be so good for the hobby of Wander Franco years from now. Turns out to be the second coming of baseball in Tampa Bay. <laughs> and I wonder, wonder. See something shiny. See if that was a Wander Franco, it would be a hundred hundred dollars plus. But it's a Jeter Downs, who's now a Dodger. First rounder. Used to play for the Reds. He's drafted by the Reds and he was playing with a local guy here. They were teammates. There's a shiny Vlad. Another red Nick Senzel. Holy crap, Cliff. I was thinking about you a while ago. I liked every once in a while. I'm thinking, where's some of my regular customers been? Cliff Wallers. Just a handful of dudes coming and going. I wonder, wonder. <laughs> well, there wasn't going to be. Jeffrey wins. There was not going to be until you freaking mentioned it. Oh. <laughs> no, down road. Just when I get that freaking thing out of my head, someone reminds me of it. I think I just shipped out. Everything is shipped out. There was one box that I had to double check on the, um, I mean, one break. I think it was a soccer break that I had to double check on the list that was in it. Eric wanted me to double check, make sure it was correct, and it was. So I got to get that done tonight, but I would say 98% of everything is out the door and on the way to y'all. Even some of you that had one card, like an insert card from Forrest Whitley or something, I shipped it out. You're welcome. 
Welcome. Everybody have a good fourth? I know I did. I had a great fourth. I felt bad my son was sick all day yesterday in the house watching movies while we all ran around and played outside and had a blast. But he came out at nighttime to do fireworks with us, so that was good. It's just he's got a throat throat virus, sore throat infection. Might be strep. His little brother had strep, so You know what? I didn't have one bite of watermelon. I had lots of ribs. Ribs, potato salad, macaroni salad, taco dip, lots of Kolsch beers. Uh oh, a shiny. I can't tell if that's a refractor of some sort. Blaze Alexander. Cool. 60,000 runners. Diamonds in the pack. Kanil. Well, that's good to know, Dennett. My wife runs. I don't know if she's still up for it, but she said she was going to do the Chicago Marathon. Oh, no, she's going to do a half a marathon first. Somewhere. She's up and out every morning running. And in Chicagoland in January and February. And December and November. And even October can be a little cold. But as I always say, I would much rather run in the cold than in that freaking blazing 100 degree humidity heat. Forget it. You're not going to fall over and die running in sub-zero temperatures. You're going to fall over and die when it's 100. Theoretically fall over and die. Got some good breaks tonight. Starting early to give time to maybe throw in some final stragglers. I'm leaving for a vacation in the morning. Mid-morning. Yeah, forget that, Dennett. Number to 499, Daz Cameron. He is a Detroit. Rock and Roll City Lions. Let's check out box two, yo.
how about if I can get the autograph to appear in 10 packs or less, I'll add in a bonus tops silver pack to the break. If I can get the auto to be within 10 packs or less, I'll add in a silver pack. This is pack number one. 10 packs or less, can I find the auto? I'll do 10 packs or less, or if it doesn't happen and it's the very last pack, then you guys will win also. Pack two. We're playing a game. Uh oh, pack two, pack three. Me too, Cliff. Holy crap. Although I don't mind baseball. I love football. Don't mind baseball. Love football. That's pack three. Pack four. Number to 150. Josh, do not be a hater. Pack five. Something shiny. Could it be a Wander Franco? This is pack five. Nice card though, Estevel, Esteban Floriel. Good card, Yankees. Dennett, it's a good card. That might be a $50, $60 card if Wander's 150 Pack six. This is pack six, right? Getting closer to that free tops pack, pack seven. Cliff is calm, pack seven. What you been up to lately, Cliff? Working? Saving up all your PayPal? Pack seven. Uh-oh, I might be giving up a freaking $20 pack. Pack eight. Something, uh-oh, look at that. Could that be the auto? An orange refractor? Aren't those super low numbered? Oh, snap. No ink, but it is numbered to 25. Wow, that's pack, pack eight. Working a lot, just waiting for football season, right? Well, I'm pretty sure I'll do a dope-ass blitz mix uh, week one of training camp, which is in like two weeks. Dodgers on fire right now. Dodgers equals bye right now. Caneal. Look at all these pitchers. Pitcher, 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 pitcher. Pitcher. Pitcher, freaking pitcher. Pitcher, 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 pitcher. Come on. We liked. Uh, pack nine? Right? This is nine? Now the pressure's on. Oh, you came up short one, dudes. I tried for you. How sad, I don't have to give away a freaking tops pack. <laughs> Soli Matias. Free agent, 15. Kansas City Royales. 
The Royals are owned by Caneal. Did he get all the autos? The Angels, Griffin Canning to 499. Gavin Lux, Victor Mesa Jr., Brandon Marsh, people are probably like, what is Chris doing on the air? It's not 9 o'clock yet. Oh my god, panic. Oh wait, that was right. I said ten packs or less, so it is the auto. The pack is in. What am I thinking? I was thinking. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm an idiot. I said if I find it before ten, I meant to say if I can, <laughs> if I can get through ten packs without finding the auto. But yes, it is get the auto before ten packs, and I did. So you guys win. Thanks, Cliff. Jeez. Uh, Wait, gonna do this. Yet. These should all be shinies. Yes. Dunrus Elite. Yes, Camden, it does it, it says it in the listing, my friend. It'll say how many boxes it is. You gotta look at the dates. Mindy's still hunting down that freaking FedEx delivery. I don't know what is up with FedEx and Ohio. Well, we just talked I just talked to her before I came on the air. She's going to go there tomorrow to their sort facility and freaking find it. No, they didn't. It does. It's not delivered yet. It's been sitting at their warehouse. They said that I tried to send it overnight, which I didn't. I told them I need to send it for Monday. It was on a Thursday when I shipped it. So somehow it got put on hold at their warehouse, but then it says out for delivery when you look at it. It says out for delivery, expected delivery Friday, today, which is four days late, but it said today. So they called and nothing was ever delivered and it's still sitting at the FedEx warehouse. No, I would be panicking if it said delivered and it's not at the house. Someone was at their house all day. <sighs> so on their way home tomorrow, she's going to stop at the FedEx facility and freaking get it. because it's really starting to annoy me. It's not their fault. It's FedEx. This is a, I don't know, third, fourth, fifth time this has happened with FedEx in the past few months. 
so I guess we shouldn't use FedEx anymore, but it's easy for me to use. You know, I have a history with them. I know the people at the store. I just show up. It takes five minutes to ship everything because they know how I like stuff done and how we do it. UPS, I don't know those people. Probably have to fill out stupid forms. I don't have to fill out any forms at FedEx. I just show up, give them the box, give them my phone with the addresses. They do it, and I leave. I mean, it's definitely one of the downsides of having a remote breaker is that I'm held to shipping sometimes. UPS, FedEx, weather, storms. Sometimes she may run out to run an errand or something and it shows up. You can't, you have to do signature delivery with stuff to houses. They won't just leave it there. It's definitely a uh, little side issue that you can have. I'm spoiled. My distributors are local. So if something happens, technically I could just drive up the road 20, 30 minutes and get it if I have time in the day. If they say, oh, we forgot to ship it or who knows, product came in too late for them to get it out to ship, I'll just go up there and get it. We don't have that luxury with Ohio. The other distributor has a truck that drives locally a route and they bring me my stuff on Fridays. All right, that was a Bowman.